I contacted uh, Mr. Dennis and, con and congratulated him on the campaign and uh, wished him well going into November. Uh, I had a great group of people working for me here my campaign. I want to thank all the folks, first of all, with my, my family, uh, my wife Marilyn, my kids Christina and Alex, my folks who worked in my campaign, uh, John Todd, uh, Kim Potoshnik, uh, the Cars guys, uh, the Handy guys, uh, John Axtell, I'm looking around and trying to remember, I'm going to forget some folks that I shouldn't. Um, uh, Josh Shorter, Josh Glick, and with the two Joshes, uh, uh, Dave Esslinger, there are so many people who helped out in various ways, Gary Bond, um, I'm so pleased. But the ideas that we fought for in this campaign for fiscal responsibility, for voter empowerment, for letting the people decide whether property taxes should be raised, those issues are alive and well, and hopefully in the future a better and stronger messenger will be able to carry that to the voters and have more success than I have in the US. Appreciate y'all coming out, and I'll take any questions. Well, does, does this represent, is this shift of power, right? With the no longer three conservatives, or how would you characterize it? Well, I mean, there's two county commission seats up, and there'll be another uh, race with the, uh, in the second district, so, and obviously there'll be a race in the third district. Uh, uh, there's two candidates that will be on the November ballot in the 3rd District, uh, but my name will not be one of them. Do you feel like your conservative approach, maybe fiscally, cost you some votes? I really don't think so. Uh, I got There was a lot of third party outside money that came into my race, and I think that had a huge impact. Uh, there were four mailers against me, and, and three of them last week from uh, the Wichita Chamber blasting me. So I'm still not sure what uh, egregious act I've done that uh, would generate that type, of, that type of opposition, but it certainly was significant. How do you think this will impact negotiations with the Zoom I'm sorry. With the Zoological Society? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not involved in those negotiations directly. and. Uh, uh, other folks are involved in making those negotiations happen. Do you think this was tied to some of the uh, concerns about the budget last summer? I'm Dr. Well, I'm not sure at this point. I'll have to take a look at the take a look at the results precinct by precinct, and the final results aren't in. I mean, the provisionals won't be in either. But it's it's clear that uh, uh, the stronger support I've had in the past wasn't there tonight. Do you? Now that the, you're conceding the race, do, is Dennis that much different than, than you on uh, a lot of the issues when it comes right down to? to well, on fiscal issues, I thought that there were some very significant differences, but we may not have done a very good job, and as I may not have done a very good job as a candidate in communicating that to voters. We, you had two two terms, and, and well, what, 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 how would you? You're not through yet. Do you got? I still got. I still got right. roughly five months. So how would you sum up? You know your your tenure. Well, we've made some very significant accomplishments in Sedgwick County, but I'm proud of the fact that we have moved in a direction of supporting voter empowerment. We have lowered the mill levy uh, about two mills. Uh, most other jurisdictions in the state, the property taxes are going up. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that we've solved the deadlock over the law enforcement training and uh, we'll have that out of the innovation campus. I won't be on the commission when that ribbon cutting for that building occurs, but I'm proud of the role and the help I've been able to provide in that area as well as uh, the new TAG office and uh, uh, county infrastructure is going to be in great shape uh, when I depart from the commission next January.